Bicara soal dunia kerja, kita tidak akan terlepas dari yang namanya wawancara, interview. Kamu pernah diwawancarai? Pasti pernah. Kamu pernah mewawancarai seseorang? Mungkin, mungkin aja. Pada video kali ini kita akan membahas bagaimana kita menggunakan frasa bahasa Inggris, business English terutama seputar wawancara. Beberapa konteks yang akan kalian pelajari adalah yang pertama, bertanya perihal kemampuan, asking about ability. Bertanya kemampuan dan kelemahan. Bertanya tentang hal-hal mendesak. Bertanya seputar proyek. Dan yang terakhir adalah bertanya maksud dan tujuan. You are going to start to talk about business English, especially when you're asking about abilities. Number one, could you? Could you? Could you lead a team? Of 12 experience salesman, uh, bisakah anda memimpin tim 12 salesman berpengalaman? And then, are you able to, are you able to work under pressure? Apakah anda bisa bekerja dalam tekanan? And then the following, how well do you, how well do you know the security system? Seberapa baik anda mengetahui sistem perlindungan? What about what about her experience in the public relations? Could she handle the press? Bagaimana dengan pengalamannya dalam hubungan kemasyarakatan? Bisakah dia menangani pers? And then the following. Do her skills include? Do her skills include stenography? Apakah kemampuannya termasuk dalam stenografi? Daftar sekarang juga. Program Fundamental dari Chosin Online English Course. Program yang akan membantu kamu belajar bahasa Inggris benar-benar dari dasar. Dengan mengikuti program ini, kamu akan dapatkan berbagai macam benefit. Mulai dari waktu, sistem belajar, dan juga tutor yang berpengalaman. Tunggu apa lagi? Karena kamu butuh belajarnya saat ini, maka daftar sekarang juga. Info ada di bawah. Cek deskripsi. See ya! And this, the following are... The business English expressions, especially when you are asking for the strength and weakness. Use these expressions. What are their strengths? What are their strengths? What are their mean strengths? Marketing, we can beat them there. Apa kemampuan utama mereka? Di pemasaran, kita bisa mengalahkan mereka di sana. Or, what do you do best? What you do best? I need to know before I help you write your CV. Apa yang bisa kamu lakukan dengan baik? Saya perlu tahu sebelum saya membantu Anda menuliskan CV. And then the following, don't they have any weak point? Don't this freelance have any weak point? They tend to work individually, not in a team. Bukankah para pekerja lepas ini memiliki titik kelemahannya? Mereka cenderung bekerja sendiri, tidak dalam kelompok. And then the following, what is she or he good at? What is Surya good at? Selling. He's a pro at that. Surya bagus dalam hal apa? Penjualan? Dia piawai di bidang itu. The other one, aren't they vulnerable at all? Aren't this system vulnerable at all of virus? How would you overcome this? Bukankah sistem-sistem ini keterantan virus? Bagaimana kamu akan menangani ini? In the following expression, you are going to learn when you are asking about what is. Okay, what is. For example, what do you need? What is needed, right? What you need? What you need for the position you are going to sit on? Apa yang anda butuhkan untuk posisi yang akan anda duduki? Or you can say, what are the requisition? What are the requisitions? For instance, can a foreigner buy property here? You've got to know about this. Apa tuntutannya? Contohnya, bisakah seorang warga negara asing membeli properti di sini? Anda harus tahu akan hal ini.
what is required. What documents are required for the whole importation process? We have to make sure you can take this over. Dokumen apa yang diperlukan untuk seluruh proses impor barang? Kami harus memastikan Anda bisa mengambil alih. Next, is it necessary? Is it necessary to spend so much money in new equipment? Apakah perlu menghabiskan banyak uang untuk perlengkapan baru? The following, is it a must? Is a coffee machine a must? Can't we just all have tea at the office? Apakah mesin kopi itu perlu? Tidak bisakah kita hanya menikmati teh di kantor? Then the following, asking about project. This is very important. Use these expressions. What are your? What are your current projects in the solar energy sector? Apa proyek terakhir Anda di sektor tenaga surya? And then the following, what are you developing? What is the HR department developing nowadays? Apa yang dikembangkan divisi human resource akhir-akhir ini? The following, what are your initiatives? What are your initiatives in the field? Apa inisiasi Anda di lapangan? And then, have you come up with anything? Have you come up with any exciting new idea recently? Apakah Anda sudah menemukan gagasan baru yang menyenangkan akhir-akhir ini? The following, the situation when you can ask for the purpose. Use these expressions. Why? Why are you proposing yourself for this position? Kenapa Anda mengajukan diri untuk posisi ini? And then, what can you use this for? What can consumers use the company product for? We're looking for the experienced market analyst. Untuk apa konsumen menggunakan produk persuahan ini? Kami sedang mencari analis pasar yang berpengalaman. And then the following, what does it do? What does this new engine you're offering do that makes it more efficient? Apa yang bisa dilakukan oleh mesin baru yang Anda tawarkan sehingga mesin tersebut lebih efisien? Or what the purpose? You can even say, what's the purpose of hiring your sales people? <coughs> what's the purpose of hiring your sales people if demand is low? Apa tujuan mempekerjakan orang penjualan baru jika lau tuntutan pasar pelan? So these are some English expressions for business, especially when you are in the context of interview. You can use into your practical day life. And uh, for sure, if you think it's the, um, you know like worth it for you to learn business English, please follow us at josintranslation.com. See ya and bye-bye. Duh. <laughs>